Hello. I wanted to go over some saws today. Resourceful Redneck is a company that has started making the uh, old brand Trailblazer. Trailblazer company went out of business and they sold their rights to the uh, Resourceful Redneck. And he's offering these saws plus plenty more. I'm going to leave a link in the description. This one here is the uh, Camo gator pole saw. On the end you can actually screw on an extension and so you can reach way up top. Great for making uh, you know hunting tree stands and so on like that or just all around camp use. Pretty aggressive teeth. I'll show you how it works. I like this saw. Works pretty decent. Now this one here it's called the Trail Tamer. Now the Trail Tamer used to be called the Saw Viber. I did a video on this and uh, I really like this saw. I really do. Now the Trail Tamer has a blade right here that slips down in here. You can put up to I believe four to s or six blades in here. I'm not quite sure at the moment. But this just uh, flips around drop your saw in and you tighten it up with this here. It's pretty simple. Works really nice. It's a step up above a folding saw in my opinion. This here I've had for a couple years. 18 inch takedown buck saw. This works sweet. I've actually, uh, this is the best buck saw I've ever used, to tell you the truth. And then, they have a 24 inch one for larger tasks. This one's a new one, I haven't used it yet, but if it cuts as well as that, <laughs> I'm going to be very impressed. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to put these together and such, and we're going to start cutting and see how they cut. Let me show you how this here, how you put these together. Now what you want to do is first off take this clip out. That holds everything in. Make sure you hang on to that clip. Take it out and automatically I put this clip back in so I do not lose it. Now it's secure. In here you have your blade and you have a rod and a spacer. Now how this works is you look for this piece here that has a hole on this side and a slit. Your rod goes in the hole and out through that slit. Then you see this spacer basically right here. It shows which way it fits against here. Now take your other one and there's one little hole up top. And you just lock that in like this. Then you have your crossbar. That slips in this way. Slips in this way. You can see how uh, it's angled. So that's how you know which way to put it. Like that. So you're going to have it like this. Now I'll just kind of fasten that like that. This here has... Uh, these little plastic pieces that clip in here and into a slot right there. So this just slips in and drops down and you just pull this over and it just drops down into the other spot. Make sure those are flush and now all you have to do is screw this wing nut in the back to tighten it up. Make sure she's going good then just tighten it up. She's tight in there, all ready to go. Okay, first off what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, camo gator on this and see how it works.
it helps if this thing didn't move around. work too bad. Try it again. This works pretty decent. Starts uh, binding a little bit when you get into thicker stuff. But uh, it's great for trimming branches and so on and stuff. It's nice and sharp. Works pretty decent. Let's try the uh, Trail Tamer. This here, <laughs> I love how these work. Love it. Now the trail tamer. I really like this saw. I do. It's a small buck saw and uh, performs just like a buck saw. Really like it. Here's my favorite right here. I haven't tried the 20, uh, 24 yet. This one here I've had for a couple years. I actually took this when I went to uh, Vancouver on the uh, show alone just because I like it so well and I trust it. Works amazing. Well, the 18 inch works great. Here's the 24. Here's the difference. You shall see how it works. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very impressed with this one. I'm impressed with the 18, the uh, Trail Tamer. They're all great saws. And the Gator is a Pretty decent, you know, the uh, folding saw. It's pretty decent. It, it works. It works really well. A lot better than a lot. Um, I think it's almost up there to my Fiskers. I'm not quite sure. Just wanted to add when I found out that. These were available again, and I know a lot of people seen my reviews and wanted them and could not get them. I had to contact them, let them know, and um, so he sent me the 24 and the Gator to try out and to review. But I wanted to bring it to you all because you will not be, you know, dissatisfied. I. Like I said, I've had that for a couple years. You see it still cuts great. Probably cut a couple cord of wood with it. I trust these saws. And uh, that's why I thought I'd bring these to you. If you're interested in buying some good camp saws, like I said, I'm going to leave the link in the description. But check out Resourceful Redneck. I really like these saws.